do find the whole abortion argument a bit like I mean what like I don't know what your thoughts is on it, but I do find it strange that there has to be an argument like surely it should be up to the woman like um hmm. I don't know like what's what's your opinion on it would you be I, okay so I would say right like for myself like for my own opinion I would say I'm 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 really mixed on it but I'm leaning like towards the pro life side a bit more. Mm-hmm. I like, don't think it should be used as a contraception. Like you know, if you, I think like if you were careless, then if you've got like the money and the circumstance, and it's probably something you'll have to have to deal with. But like if it's for something like you know, if a thirteen year old girl is being assaulted and stuff, then that shouldn't be put on her. Like there's like there was some kind of thing in America. I saw like a case recently where like the rapist was given custody of this 12-year-old girl's kid that he, like, forced onto her. Yeah. This is a lot of very medieval things like that. So I, I don't agree with it being used as, like, contraception in a way. Like, that's just that, you know, you've got to deal with it. But if it's been spe- if it's been something that's been the result of something horrendous, then, you know, it's absolutely, absolutely the woman's choice, really, because it's her body, I guess. Let me pause you really. Yeah, wait, are you Christian or Catholic? No, I'm, no, I'm, I'm not. I don't want to say I'm an atheist. I'm just... I'm just I just exist. I don't like have a specific following. Right. Okay. I'm an agnostic atheist as well. So, mm-hmm. um, like the reason I asked right was was because whatever you just said to me about the rapist and then having like the the victim having to marry right, like, that that's literally in the Bible as well. So when when you said it was mi- like medieval, like that's a hundred percent accurate. Because literally, right, I remember there was this story. I can't remember the exact name of the Bible story, but I'll probably link you. After I find mm-hmm. it, but basically, mm-hmm. I remember there was this um person who raped the girl, and then like there was this verse saying about how like since he um took her innocence and took you know her dignity away, he has to spend his, the rest of his life repaying it back or whatever, and like he he was forced to marry her as yeah, part of his punishment. Though, exactly. Imagine like marrying your rapist and having sex with him every night. Yeah. Like the fuck. So like yeah, those Bible stories don't like kind of draw me away from all of that. I but like that's a, of, a whole. I think a lot of good in the Bible. Like I think there's a lot of very good teachings and very good stories. But I just, it does confuse me a little bit why people stick to some of them so you know so religiously. Because mm. like it was written so long ago and times have changed so much then, and people just pick and choose what they want from it as well to support their arguments. And it's like I don't know. It just it doesn't make sense. No, for sure, I agree. But like, that's a whole conversation mm. for another time. But like, back to your question on the whole mm. like abortion thing, right? Yeah, I don't think that you know out of like, like, like when people say, "Oh, you know, um, I'm too young, like I'm not ready to have a baby," so like, lol, I'm just gonna kill it, right? Yeah, I don't really think that's a strong reason or argument for aborting a, a life. Um, mm. <sighs> I, 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 I hardly can see any good reason to kind of um abort a baby, to be honest with you. Like, mm, like... I guess it's like a 12-year-old kid's being like assaulted. It's like, she had, like, a pregnancy is a very big deal. Like, giving birth as well, it's not something a 12-year-old should have to go through. Right. Like, and even, you know, she gave it up for adoption a lot of, a lot of times. Like, especially, like, say, in America and stuff, mm. the, the kid's life will be worse if it's, like, given up for adoption because... You know, the protesters only care about it when it's a fetus, and then when it's a child in the system, they don't give two shits about it. Right, but would the child rather be dead, though? Like, hmm. right? I don't know, like, I, can't, I can't remember exactly what it was, but isn't it only, like, classed as, like, there's a certain amount of weeks, right? It's just still a clump of cells, isn't it? Like, um, it's not, like, a formed, and formed, like, feelings, or, like, a brain or something. I don't, I don't know, like, I think I saw something about it yes. took a certain number of weeks yes. or something before it's, like. I think. 95 or like nine, uh, basically over 80 percent of abortions are usually first term i think mm-hmm. so um yeah because that kind of brings out about the whole philosophical point of like when would we consider it a life right mm. so a lot of people argue and say oh at the moment of um what's the word i'm looking for when the sperm which is the yeah at, at the moment of conception some people would say it's then um mm. but for me personally i would i would say it's when um it starts to form 
a like central nervous system. So like the brain, mm. the spinal cord. Because mm. without like okay, you can develop a heart, you can develop a lung, you can develop eyes and all that, right? But without the brain and mm. without its central nervous system, that's what allows you to experience consciousness, experience mm. life basically. And the most important thing is feel pain. So mm. at any point beyond that, an abortion wouldn't hurt that clump of cells. But any mm. point after that, then yes, it would be literally ending a life. I think say with abortion, I don't think it should be promoted as like a common contraception, but not I think it should be banned mm. because circumstances are awful and like I say, ultimately it's not really any harm business what other people do with their bodies really. <laughs> I, um, hmm. Okay, then one would argue back with that logic, right? And say like, okay, so um, why don't I kill you then? Because it's my body, my choice. Hey, this is different. <laughs> Why? Why is it different? No, fully, yeah, thinking... fully formed, fully conscious human being. This is called, like, some cells. If we're talking, like, you know, very early stages, like the earliest it can possibly be detected, it's just kind of cells, really. And like I said, what's its life going to be outside of it? Okay, um, so if, you, if the argument is based on, like, fully conscientious and fully formed, what about people who are maybe having certain conditions that don't allow their um, IQ to be like maybe even half of that of a normal human being. Should we kill them then? I think when it comes to stuff like, um, also this is a slight tangent, I don't understand like, you know when people come to the end of their lives and they're in like, you know, vegetative state or a lot of pain, yeah. whatever, I don't understand why we can't, like, you know if you, if you dog, is like had a stroke and it's about to die or something, and we can mm-hmm. take it to the vet and have it put out. Mm-hmm. I don't understand why we can't do the same with like humans. Like if they're very obviously in pain and close to death, I don't understand why we have to like prolong it. It just seems wrong. Um, human rights are really different for em- for animal rights, I guess, mm. which is why. But like, um, I guess the logic behind it is the sentimental value and all the memories and all of the. I guess emotional know, ties like, that my, you have. Um, it's like my grand, my grand had this thing recently called PSP. Mm-hmm. It's like a very sort of slow, sort of degenerative condition where basically renders you immobile, unable to swallow, talk, do anything, basically. And like my mum and like my grandpa and like my auntie had to just basically sit and like wait for it to pass away, which is just like awful, really. So I don't understand why we can't just be like, right, this is very clearly happening. Let's just not make her like sit through all this you know it's, it's, it's a weird one I think there is such a thing it's called well, um, there is dignitas yeah so I don't understand why it's not more like common obviously there should be a lot of stages to get to it it shouldn't be like very you know you don't do it immediately yep. it's just it's, it's just I don't know I'm not I'm not very like worldly I'm not very cultured and stuff so I, I, I don't know like with the abortion conversation I don't feel comfortable going further because I don't feel like I have enough knowledge on it no 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 no. that's the opposite that you should do because I'm not here to judge you on it I'm just here to like I don't know stimulate your brain and oh no for sure for sure I just I mean I don't really want to like carry on in case because I don't really I don't want to say anything but like I don't know I'm very much enjoying this conversation it's nice to actually like have a back and forth because I'm not I'm not very used to having that with politics having a back and forth Mm. this is really good but it's just like, I mean, I don't want to, like, say much more because, like, I don't really feel like I know enough to continue my argument, you know what I mean? I'd rather wait until I've gone away and done a bit more research. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, like, li- like literally, right, like, I'm not, I'm not really, uh, like, I would say emotionally invested in this topic. Like, mm. this is mm. just something that I have, I have thought for quite a well, long time and, like, just thought you know okay like literally what we're doing now i would guess would be like i don't know mental exercise kind of thing mm. with this like little back and forth and so mm. it's it's good like mm-hmm. i think um, if you weren't sure of how to continue right then like maybe we could explore why instead and then mm-hmm. you could have like a, maybe a better not a better but more refined search for what you're going to look into later on and, mm-hmm. and, and find out about the things that you don't know hmm. if that makes sense it's like I am very much like 
pro-choice. It's just hard to sort of... The questions you're asking are, like, really difficult, and it's like, oh, it's very good. It's just, like, I'm not used to not being able to answer things. <laughs> you know, with one of those people who can, like, rattle things off. But it's, like, it's just... I'm just stop and think, which is, like, really not usual for me. I don't know. It's good, though. It's good. I don't know. Do you get what I'm saying? I'm kind of rambling. This is, like, a new experience. <laughs> no, I feel, I feel, like... I don't really have conversations this deep with my friends. It's, uh, all my guy friends are like, haha, girls, haha, games and stuff. <laughs> so, like, it's, it's honestly... <laughs> Sounds like a nice, simple life, man. <laughs> it's honestly, like, I guess, refreshing to have a conversation like that. So, don't feel like, you know, um, that you're inadequate or anything like that.